problematic for the Prime Minister to have so much talk about what's going on inside Downing Street at a time of chaos. I mean, many people on the street will wonder who Lee Kane even is and why there's so much coverage of it. But this idea that his administration is infighting and in chaos, I think, doesn't do him a service. In fact, it makes it look like he's taking his eye off the coronavirus ball because he's having to sort out this internal power struggle. I think we've always known that there's been a power struggle in Downing Street. Mm. Generally in politics, there's always a struggle for who has the Prime Minister's ear. And there's certain factions in Downing Street. Vote Leave, which is spearheaded by Dominic Cummings and by association Lee Kane, who worked with him on Brexit. Then the Prime Minister's got his old City Hall retinue of staff. Um, equally, there are newcomers coming in. And of course, there's also his fiance, Carrie Simmons, who, regardless of what anyone might think, of course, is exerting some influence behind the scenes. Added to that, you've got the new addition of Allegra Stratton, who's going to be Downing Street's uh, press spokesperson. She's very close to Carrie Simmons. She and her husband, James Forsyth, who is the political editor of The Spectator, are closely aligned with Rishi Sunak. I think the Prime Minister is effectively being pulled in two different directions. In one direction by the vote leavers, including Dominic Cummings and until he resigned Lee Kane, and perhaps in the other by his fiancée Carrie Simmons, who is mistrustful of the vote leavers and her group of support, which would include Allegra Stratton and uh, Rishi Sunak. Well, of course, the Prime Minister will insist that he's running the country, but I think behind the scenes he's having a great deal of help from Dominic Cummings, who certainly has got his fingers in quite a few of Number 10's pies. Equally, Michael Gove is an intriguing figure in government right now. He is chairman of a number of very critical subcommittees, not just on COVID, but on Brexit, civil service reform and other issues. So there is a sense as was the case during that 2016 leadership race where Gove knifed Johnson in the back, this sense that perhaps Johnson is the chairman to Gove's CEO. Well, I think a lot of people are now saying that Lee Kane has left. Now this is the opportunity that Johnson should seize to bring in somebody who is perhaps more experienced, but equally more aligned to the Tory party. I think Johnson understands there's a party management problem. You've got a situation where people in Downing Street are briefing against MPs, MPs are briefing against people in Downing Street, there's a leak inquiry on, so somebody seems to be spilling the beans before the Prime Minister is willing to do so. To coin a phrase, the Prime Minister needs to take back control of his own administration. This is a distracting sideshow, and there's no doubt it makes him look weak. It makes him look like decisions are being taken out of his hands, and that's not a great look.